Hey guys, welcome to the Lady K Sailing mini series that's all about the Erie Canal. We're going to take you from the eastern end at Waterford, New York, all the way to the western end where it meets Lake Erie at Buffalo, New York. We're going to cover all of the locks so that you know what to expect if you're going to take your boat through the Erie Canal. We're going to cover most of the very historic lift bridges along the way. And we're going to take you along for the ride as we visit a lot of the small towns that you'll want to visit while you make your way down the canal as well. It's going to be a good mini series. Stay tuned. The Erie Canal runs from Albany, New York to Buffalo, New York, and when it was completed in 1825, it was originally 363 miles long, making it the second longest canal in the world. It was built to connect the Atlantic Ocean to the Great Lakes in order to move cargo, and the cargo was originally pulled on barges by donkeys that walked along beside the canal on trails. At the time of completion, it was four feet deep. But if you're bringing your boat there now, you'll find it to be about 12 to 14 feet deep. When it was completed in 1825, there were originally 72 locks, but now there are only 35. The elevation of these locks from the tide level in Albany to the top of the Niagara Escarpment was 566 feet. The small towns along the way that you'll be able to visit are absolutely amazing. And there's a lot of historic lift bridges, including the Fairport Lift Bridge, which is in the Guinness Book of World Records for having no two angles the same and having one side higher than the other. However, the Fairport Lift Bridge is set to be rebuilt fairly soon, so that record may go away. I take you guys for a little walk. We got to go uh, sign in, and it's like ten bucks for the bathroom key, and then we got to pay for power. I'll, I'll probably just pay for it. Um, that way we have the option of running the AC if we want to. Anyway, ready to go. Can you slide that hatch shut? The one behind you there. Ooh. We did uh, stern, spring, spring, and then bow. Um, just because there's a huge blow coming tonight and we don't want to get rocked by it. So LA, what would you think of your first lock? That was something. It was experience. It was pretty easy though. Yeah. Went well. Yeah, we didn't crash this time. Well, the storm they were calling for is here, as you can see. But never fear, we're gonna go into town, find something to, to eat real quick, get a little bit wet. Um, supposed to get rocked pretty bad tonight though, so probably better to not be on the boat.
Morning guys, it's like a few minutes before 7 a.m. The lock opens at 7. Um, we are just getting ready to go. We got a boat hook at each end, so we'll both have a boat hook. Um, the lines in these locks um, are about every 25 feet or so, though there's a slimy rope that hangs down. So you want to have a glove, you want to have a boat hook to be able to grab it. Uh, and you want to have a short length of line with you just in case you have to do anything with that. Um, so we're all set for all those things. We put diesel in. The water tank's full because there's free water here on the dock. Um, we are ready to go. Lock opens at 7. I'll call them on the BHF channel 13 um, at 7 o'clock. And we'll see if they are in a, a westbound position or an eastbound position. We're westbound. Um, and if they have eastbound traffic, we might have to sit here and wait for a long time. So we'll see. There's four locks in a row consecutive. And you do all of them at the same time. So if somebody's coming down the locks right now, we just have to wait. They have to do all the locks and then come out. And that's how it is. Don't really see any other boats getting ready to leave though, so we might be doing this alone. I kind of suspected we'd be in a pack of boats up the, up the locks, but it doesn't seem so. Anyway, I'm going to take the spring lines off, get her ready to go. All right, it's five minutes after seven. Let's see if they're awake. Lock two, lock two, lock two. This is westbound sailboat Lady K. You can actually see they're emptying the lock. The water rushing out right now is crazy. It all rushed through here. We were actually rocking last night like we got waked. It was when they emptied the lock. Pretty wild. Well guys, uh, the lock two lock operator just called me and told me he cannot lock me through right now because lock six, um, which is at the end of the sequence, is broken. Uh, and you have to do them all consecutively. So uh, because lock six is broken, he has to make me stay here in Waterford until they figure out how to get it fixed. And he will call me on the radio when there's an update. Yeah. All right, guys, day two. Yesterday turned out to be a write-off. Uh, the Lockmaster said lock six at the top of this flight. It's two, three, four, five, six, all in sequence. Lock six was broken. Um, and if lock six is broken, you can't enter the first lock. So uh, we just hung out on the dock and met all the other boaters. This morning, it's now just coming up on 7 a.m. We're waiting. Uh, waiting Thank you. There's the call, this guy just called. Anyway, so this is the first lock, Waterford, um, and this is where you have to do all the locks right in a row. So we'll film all that for you guys. And I talked to the other sailboats down the dock. There's three sailboats and two power boats that are all going together. So we'll have some buddy boats all the way through this flight. And then everybody's headed for Amsterdam, which is sort of the general first stop when you're headed westbound. And the wall in Amsterdam is much smaller, so we're not all going to fit. But... Nonetheless, uh, 7 a.m., the guy's still not answering the Lockmaster, so I guess we'll have to wait. But I talked to the powerboat behind us. He does eight knots, and we do six. So I said, make sure that when you come off the wall, you just pass me, and I'll jump in behind you. And I'll be ready in about 10 minutes. Wait for the green light. 10 minutes. Wait for the green light. Lock two, this is westbound sailboat Lady K. There's uh, three sailboats and two power boats by our count on the wall, just waiting for westbound, just so that you know how many boats there are. Yep, I'll take anybody and everybody. All right, let's do it.
stop on the power boat in front of us and these guys are going to be right on our stern this time so either that or the front boat didn't go up as much as he did before hard to say but the uh, sailboat behind us they've got their mast rigged very very high so their mast should clear our solar panels i mean if push comes to shove i don't think they'll hit us Chinese fire drill. Switch boats. So our buddy boat behind just ran up and high-fived me at the top of the lock. Woo! Here we are, top of lock four. Really nice. through six complete um, we're about at the top gonna open up the doors and then we've got a 10 mile run to lock seven so it you know kind of settles down a little bit we'll get into our groove um, probably make about six knots nice uh, pretty chill pretty relaxed Erie Canal is mostly pretty relaxing lots of fun okay guys that's it for the Waterford set of locks um, if that was all done too quickly and you want to see that slowed down a little bit so you can see the locks a little bit more Let me know and in the next episode. I'll take it a little bit slower If that was really too slow and boring with all the locks uh, Let me know that in the comments below as well And I'll try to speed up uh, the next episode of the Erie Canal mini series um, Other than that, that's it for episode 73. Thanks so much for watching If you like the video hit the thumbs up for me and if you want to see more hit subscribe so that you're notified uh, and click the little bell so you're notified when a new video is released every Friday. Um, also, if you find the Lady K Sailing Channel to be of some use to you or you get some value out of it, consider becoming a patron. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash Lady K Sailing allows you to send a couple of bucks every Friday when a new video is released, and that help keeps the boat in ship shape and diesel in the tank. Other than that, guys, love you very much. We will see you in a week next Friday. Bye.